Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Wendy here from Little Nest Crafts. Uh, thank you for joining me this evening and uh, welcome to all my uh, regular subscribers. And if you're new, I'd like to welcome you uh, too. Um, now, this video is um, the second video in the series of hashtag Christmas Craft Off 24. Um, the first video I did was an introduction to tell you a little bit about the uh, collaboration that's hosted by Rachel and Bella Crafts. Um, <clears throat> and this isn't this video isn't the project that I've got coming up on the 27th. Um, this is separate to that. It's uh, just to show you my progress, really, because um, I've been doing a Christmas journal with um, Rachel and Bella's a beautiful kit. Um, now, I'll just tell those for those of you who are new, um, this is uh, just a, a brief um, introduction to Rachel and Bella's uh, kit. It involves um, a journal kit that's got lots of journal pages that you can see in brief here, in, in miniature should I say. And then you've got a background a background kit which shows you all the papers on there. I won't do a flick through because lots of people have done flip throughs already and if you go to Rachel and Bella's or if you go to Rachel's YouTube page um, on Rachel and Bella Crafts she does a, um, a really um, comprehensive showing of, of their kit um, so that's the backgrounds one and then you've got backgrounds two and then you've got an add-on ephemera kit which has got all your tags and envelopes and um, all your little um, extra pieces. Um, you've got file folders as well and uh, big tags and small tags and pockets and all sorts in there really. And then you've got a fussy cut kit which gives you all your baubles and books, typewriters, children etc etc. And it's a bumper kit and it's a beautiful kit. Um, if you've been following along you've been um, uh, privileged to see what everybody has been making with this beautiful kit. Um, and there's all sorts. Um, for those of you who haven't been following, um, there's two um, designers every day post a video under the hashtag um, Christmas Craft Off 24. So if you type that in onto YouTube, it'll take you to where everybody's been posting their videos and you'll you'll be able to work your way through the bumper list because there's going to be 60 by the end of uh, November. It started on the, the collaboration started on the 1st of November and it runs right through to the end of November. And then the first week of December or maybe a few days after that, um, Rachel's going to be doing a giveaway. So if you want to be in for a chance to win a prize from the giveaway, because lots of um, the participants have donated either what they're making or digital kits or other uh, bits and bobs. Um, if you want to be in for a chance to win one of those, then you all you need to do is to go on everybody's, all the, all the um, artists, you need to go on to each of their YouTube sites and like and leave them a comment. And obviously we'd all be very grateful if you like what you see that you um, sub subscribe to their channel. There's lots of new new um, artists and there's lots of our old famous um, well-known uh, friends. Um, so, you know, do if you get um, an inkling that you want you want to see what everybody's made. I do encourage you to uh, visit, you know, all their sites because it's been fantastic so far. So all I'm going to do is um, I'm not going to do you a flip through because my my project is um, actually in these two uh, pages. But I just wanted to give you a taster. This is uh, this is my journal and um, I'm still in the process of filling it up. It's going to have two signatures. I have been debating over the past few days whether to split it and make it into three signatures but I'll see how it feels when I come to make the cover um, because um, 
it is bursting at the seams already, as you can see. Um, my journals too do tend to be um, gator mouth ones. If you if you follow my channel, you you'll know that they're usually pretty full. So, but what I am short of is I'm I'm short of pockets, and I'm short of um, you know some bits and bobs to go down the sides of the pages. Now, in this journal, there are it's a mixture because it's a journal that I started a couple of years ago um, and um, I made two for my granddaughters and um, and then this one was left. I, I was going to start one to make one for myself. And um, so I've incorporated Rachel's kit in amongst this because it's such a beautiful kit. It goes with any you know, any um, Christmas themes, thing, you know, papers and things that you've got. Um, it's, you know, there's a variety. You've got modern sort of um, collage -y types and you've got um, beautiful traditional uh, pages like this. So uh, Rachel has accommodated everybody, really. So what I need to do is sit and make a couple of pockets. So I've, I've got some bits and bobs that I've got left over here in a box and I thought I would make two pockets to go in each of the journals so it's going to be fairly straightforward <coughs> excuse me one moment somebody's at the door I do apologize for that somebody was at my next door neighbor's door I think so yeah I want to make um some pockets because I'm a bit short of uh, larger pockets there's lots of um nice small pockets in the kit that come with the kit um, but I want something that's a little bit deeper so I just need to cut a little bit off there and um, I'll get my trusty mini So I'll do all of them really just to make them a little bit narrower on the page. Do them two together. See the gorgeous, uh, gorgeous papers. Let's have a look at that dark one. Yeah, I think I like that one. So what I'm going to do is, I might just make it a bit less deep on the top. Take a little. Well, in natural fact, what I'm going to do is I'll just fold it over a little bit just to strengthen the top of the pocket and that kills two birds with one stone and then I'm going to use my corner rounder to round the edges let's have a look and I'm just going to pop some glue into there. So I do hope that you're enjoying the uh, collaboration. It's been fantastic so far. So many wonderful projects. You know, people are really inspiring and it's fantastic that you know, they're willing to share their techniques and um, their ideas with us. So, I'm going to glue that down and I'm not going to put a notch in this one. 
I did think about it then for a minute. Um, but I'm going to trim it with some lace, I think. Let's have a look. And what I've got to go in these, I've got some recipe cards that I purchased off Etsy. Um, so I'm going to pop those in the deeper pockets. Yeah, I got these off um, watching one of the other ladies who had made a project, and I haven't. I should have written her name down, really. Um, but uh, I thought they were great and I did a search on Etsy so I'm going to put two of these recipe cards in the pocket like so and then um, that'll be another something nice to uh, look at and then I've got some lovely laces here this is from the Christmas bundle from last year that uh, I bought from um, Angela Kerr and as you all know she she does some gorgeous laces. So that's a nice deep red lace. Let me have a look. Um, or how about got a bag of laces here um, just thinking if I did a white lace and then did a red trim over the top let me just have a look at that It's a very delicate lace, actually. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Yeah, I don't dislike that, actually. Yeah, I think we'll go for it. I know that's only delicate. Let me just see if I've got another one. That's slightly thicker. I don't lose my needle. This one might be better, might show up a little bit more. Yeah, that's better. So let me just get my snips and we'll put that one on first with some fabric tack. I'm going to take those out for the time being. And then we'll get some of this out. Yeah, Angela does some gorgeous laces and gorgeous kits as well. Let me just um, neaten the edge of that. And 
then straighten that up there. I'll just go over the top. go and then excuse my arm let's have a look and see what I've got in the way of some sentiments let's have a look um, I've got one of those these are what Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah um, showed us how to do. Some little records in some record sleeves. I put some of those in. I couldn't resist making those. And um, let's have a look what we've got here. Got a little Santa. Snowmen. Oh, we've got a dangly, which I could put at the top of the page there. Some books. Yeah, how about some books? I am partial to using books. Um, to wrap the top of my Fabertac or my three in one up with um, some cling film because the dog it dropped on the floor my dog is so fast he thinks everything is food and, <laughs> and had it in his mouth and chewed it so uh, I couldn't get it back on the bottle top so I'll just put the pin in my lace again. <laughs> Try and keep things out the way on my desk. So I'll just make sure that that's straight. And then what it needs is a bit of book page behind it. So let's have a look what we've got here. something else as well. Um, let's see what we've got. Thank you. 
Just have a look at these little cards. That's rather cute. I fussy cut around it. Oh, it's spot for choice. Um, I've got some larger ones here somewhere. Let me have a look. the one it's for me you know once you hit the right one you know that's the right one <laughs> so we'll put a bit this book page down Fabertac, but it's three in one this one but somebody did say that they're the same probably just different manufacturers but the same recipe to make the glue and there's a sentiment there this was in my stash Christmas is forever, not for just one day. For loving, sharing, giving are not to put away. Norman Wesley Books. So I'll pop that there in that corner. Maybe have it... Uh, And then, what have we got? Some ribbon, and I've got some Christmas gems here too. What have we got? We've got some snowflakes, which we can have. 
singly. Or we can have, sorry, silver or we can have them gold because they're silver on one side and gold on the other. I could put that there. And we've also got some of these. If I can get hold of them with my tweezers. Some gems. So I think I'm going to pop this little snowflake on. Gold side up. little red berries here which I could let me just sprinkle some out oops so I can see them and I'll just put the top on my in one right see so if we can get these little red berries and put them on on these berries here oops They look rather spectacular. I've got red ones and green ones. Oops. And white ones. I'm trouble if I can't see them now because they're upside down. Where's my pot gone? Need another little top of glue and another bead. Yeah, they look rather nice. And I'm put I'm gonna put one on that side as well. I don't know if that's a red one. Yeah, that's a red one. There we go. Don't know if you can see. I'll just put these in the pockets. I want to machine round these as well. But I'll just put them in there for now. There we go. So that's one pocket done. If I lift that up to the 
camera so you can see. And I'll just let that dry and then we'll work on a pocket in this one. Right, let's find a page that needs a pocket. It's crying out for a pocket. Let's have a look. That would be a nice pocket to do. something in there but that's crying out for a pocket isn't it and I'm going to use that because it's got the same colors as that on there so we'll do the same I'm just going to fold the edge over to strengthen the edge put some glue in there And we'll just ink the corners as well. And I think I might put a notch in this one. glue it on And then that'll be nice for the recipe cards. I've put the other one in one of the other pockets, I think. Now then, what have we got that we can put on the front of here? We've got Christmas. And we've got this one. Quite like that. Oh, we've got Santa's snowman. That's quite nice too. I am more partial to the... Yeah, I think I'll go with that one. And we want some more book page. So I'm just going to have a look and see what I've got over there. And we've got these sentiments as well that Rachel did. These were part of the kit. Um, and I've used quite...
quite a few already on my project. Um, now then. Let's have a look. Anyway, let's finish what we're doing first. <coughs> These are just pages out of an old Reader's Digest book that my mum gave me when she was alive. She was an avid reader, my mum. Laces of some description. And I've also got these when I went on the, one of the retreat, well, in the, the retreat that I went to in the summer, Rachel's, I bought one of Bella's kits. I want to find a little place for that somewhere in the journal if I can. Um, some more lovely fabric flips and then this was out of Rachel's kit some tinsel so you could actually do something like that along the top and bottom And I've also got these little poinsettias, which were also from Angela, with the Christmas kit. You can either buy things individually from Angela, or she does like bumper kits. I could do something like that. as well. Oh, I quite like that. Big, lovely big sparkling one. to do as well I'm just going to dampen this these texts the text down a little bit and in order to do that I'm just going to use a bit of gesso um, so daisy get the top dry in a jiffy because it's been put on really thinly. It just makes it a little bit less conspicuous. There we go. 
So we'll just let that dry. And you use the tiniest of amounts. So that's dry now. So we'll stick it down on the pocket. And then I'm just going to see if I've got some um, fabric to go behind there. I've got a bit of um, a bit of this netting. some around there. Fairly generous with it. I want to scrunch it up a little bit. And then just lightly ink around my ephemera piece. television in the background. And then I'll put some behind this big snowflake. It has got um, a foam pad behind it. Then let's have a little see which I don't want anything with Christmas in because there's Christmas in that one. Um, or we could use one with we could put that on it. Nothing ever seems too bad, too hard or too sad when you've got a Christmas tree in the living room. Um, is there anything small we could put there? I think with Christmas journals you can go a bit, you know, you can be a bit, uh, it's allowed to be a bit over the top with your decorations. <laughs> um, yeah, what's this one? Oh, that's the same as that, I think to use that. under there or we'll just leave it as is uh, 
Um, we did use some gems on the other one. So how about if we used some gems in the corner? Let's have a look. on that side Just a little bit of bling. Excuse my arm, everybody. So that's that pocket done. Um, And I wanted to dress the front of this little pocket as well. So I'll just move that to one side a sec. Bring this one out. And I'll just ink round the edges. This is an envelope from the kit. going to do here is pop some other tack along the middle. Sorry, I don't want to hide that beautiful face. Oops, easy. some bit piece of ribbon and then maybe a little bit of book page behind that too what we've got in here.
sure that nothing in the text that can offend anybody. That's the only thing when you're using book pages. I can't see anything there. And then, where did those sentiments go? Let's have a look. I think just a small one on there. Um, how about Christmas spirit? of this quickly yeah I'm just thinking about the projects that some of the ladies have done that I really want to have a go at doing myself today so inspirational and um, it's just that there's not enough hours in the day <laughs> on and half off there and then oops need to get the rubber on there it's been sat in some glue have drizzled on my on my desk and the this rubber is a godsend I don't know what they're called but um, it certainly works at getting glue off your off your work envelope sealed and all I did was when I before I printed them out I, I did double sided because I don't know about you but I like my envelopes to have something inside print wise I mean um, and I do like to fill the envelopes as well. I don't like to leave them empty in the journals. What I tend to do is fill them with all the leftover ephemera from the kit so that whoever purchases the journal can uh, have a play themselves. And, you know, there are empty pages in the journals. So they can add extras. So there we go, everybody. There's a quick and easy little envelope there, which we'll find a spot for in this journal. Um, let's have a look. 
I don't want to close that page because um, the glue's still wet on those gems. So there's the other recipe card for in there. And I will machine around those. Um, oh, that's quite nice. These little cards could go in that envelope there. got lines on the back. For journaling on. So there we go. I'll put those two little postcards in there. sit nicely in that pocket there we go so I hope that uh, you've enjoyed following along making those two little pockets and um, I'll be doing some more in this journal and I do hope that you'll you'll join me and watch the progress and uh, that you enjoy my project on the on the 27th so I'll just clear the decks a little bit so that you can have a look at the pro projects together or should I say the po pockets together just get rid of some of this stuff off my desk or off the dining room table <laughs> right so I'll put that one there Oh, and I didn't put that on. Let me just do that before before we close. There we go. So that's the first pocket. And that's the second pocket. Whoops, a daisy. So that's it for now, folks. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Um, please carry on following everybody in the uh, um, collaboration. Um, tomorrow, I'll just tell you quickly. Um, I'll get the list. Tomorrow we've got Rachel and we've got and Bella. So we've got the joys of having seen what Rachel and Bella have got for us tomorrow. And it's Friday, so you might even find that uh, Rachel and Bella are, are releasing another freebie. She normally does a freebie on a Friday that goes with the kit. So, um, you know, do pop along and uh, check out her coffee shop and you might be in for a lovely surprise. So until uh, next time, take care of yourselves and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.